Philippine stocks start trading in about 15 minutes after tumbling for two straight days. Yesterday, if you recall, the benchmark index sank almost 3%, the most in Asian markets. Bloomberg's uh, Coco Elquas joins us on the line from Manila. Coco, good morning. What's, what's really dragging Philippine stocks down? Is it because of uh, slower economic growth or slower remittances uh, that we're seeing right now? Yeah, actually, the, the, the two uh, the, those two topics are kind of in, are very interrelated. There are some economists who say that uh, remittances account for as much as 30 percent of consumer spending. Lots of remittances go to lower income uh, families, and they spend a lot of that money. So that could uh, slow down in remittance growth, and it is slowing down. Um, will be drag would drag down economic growth. Um, economic growth first quarter was the slowest in a decade, forcing the government to uh, reduce the full year uh, target to as little as 0.8 percent, which would be the slowest since the since 1998, which uh, which is right after the, which was in the midst of the Asian crisis. So that kind of makes sense. But we also have election spending. I mean, we know when it comes to election year, the government pumps in a lot of money. Isn't that supposed to be helping companies and economic growth as a whole as well? There's two kinds of election spending uh, that analysts talk about. Number one is government uh, putting out more money um, because it, 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 it builds more infrastructure uh, in the lead up to, to elections. There are different accounts of uh, how strong that actually is. The other kind of election spending is when the candidates spend money, whether it's for T-shirts or rallies or advertising. That flows into companies like Jollibee and ABS, CBN Broadcasting, etc. Um, the problem with the first one, the, the government spending, is that the government spending has not increased as much as the government has wanted it or as, as much as the government has planned. There, there are bottlenecks in the process. And um, the rainy season has started in the Philippines. So it's very difficult in the second half of this year to get the infrastructure spending going. Okay, Coco Alcoas, thank you so much for uh, being with us today. Let's do a